kitchen. Today we're going to be making a quick recipe for dinner in the Instant Pot. It's a pork tenderloin. It's a keto friendly, it meets the Whole30 diet and also the Paleo diet. So let me show you what it looks like. It's a very quick cooking time. You can get this whole recipe done in about 30 minutes. So come along with me and let's make some pork tenderloin in the Instant Pot together. Let's take a look at the ingredients needed to make this easy recipe. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, about two pounds of pork tenderloin, some coarse sea salt, some cracked black pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, four tablespoons of butter, one cup of chicken broth, and if you want to make the gravy, you're going to need one can of beef broth, two teaspoons of Worcestershire, and a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum for thickening. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is hit the saute button and put it on the middle uh, function, which is normal for sauteing. We're going to let the Instant Pot warm up. It's going to turn on and while we're waiting for it to turn hot, we're going to prepare our meat. We're going to take our pork tenderloin, sprinkle it generously with garlic powder, some cracked black pepper, some sea salt, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and Italian seasoning. Pat it in and then we're going to flip it over and put the seasonings on the second side of the meat. Once the Instant Pot displays hot, you're ready to put in your two tablespoons of olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to start browning our tenderloins. My tenderloins were in one pound pieces, but you may have one thicker two pound tenderloin. Either way, this recipe will work just fine. So we're going to go ahead and start sauteing the meat, and we want to make sure we give it a good sear on all sides. I actually forgot to add the salt when I was seasoning it, so I'm adding it now, which is no problem. Once you see a sear like this on your tenderloin, you know it's time to turn it over and continue the browning process. The browning process is going to give so much flavor to the meat and to the gravy if you choose to make the gravy. So I'm flipping it over on all sides just to give it a little sear. Once I've seared all four sides of the tenderloin, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the pan onto a clean plate and deglaze my pot. This is a very important process in order to avoid burn errors. So what you need to do is put a little bit of your chicken broth at the bottom and start scraping the bottom. I like to use my wooden spatula. It doesn't ruin my Instant Pot at all and it gives me a lot of um, force behind it when I'm trying to scrape the bottom. It's really not that difficult. As you can see, that little bit of liquid helped to glaze the pan really quickly. And all those bits of flavor are gonna be in our gravy later on. Then I'm going to pour in the remaining part of my broth to make one cup total. I actually ran out of chicken broth, so I'm just going to use a little bit of beef broth for the remaining part of the initial cooking liquid. But you definitely need at least one cup of liquid. Now we're going to put in our rack and we're going to place our tenderloins on top of the rack. This next part is actually something that's going to help the gravy, but it also will make the meat taste good too. You're gonna to put your pats of butter on top of your meat. If it falls through to the bottom of the rack, don't worry. It just is gonna become part of the gravy. But try to put it on top of the meat so when it's steaming, it's gonna melt through and the flavor of the butter will cook with the meat. The 
Now it's time to close our lid. Make sure the valve is set to sealing, not venting, and hit cancel. And now we're going to pressure cook and set the cooking time for five minutes. I need to use my minus button to get down to five minutes. My last cook time was 10 minutes, that's why it came up as 10. The Instapot always remembers your last cooking time. So we're gonna cook it for five minutes. Once the high pressure is done cooking, you can see here with the L00, we're gonna let it sit for a natural pressure release of 10 minutes. And then we'll take our spoon and open the valve to venting to finish it off with a quick release. And you can see almost all the steam was out and the pin has dropped. I'm going to turn off my Instant Pot by hitting Cancel. Turn my lid counterclockwise, lift off the lid, and there's my cooked pork. I'm going to take my meat thermometer and just ensure that the pork has reached the minimum temperature for cooking. I like to cook my pork to 160 minimum. Now that I've ensured my pork has reached a safe temperature, I'm going to remove it from the Instant Pot and keep it on a plate, cover it to keep it warm. And I'm also going to remove my rack. I just use my tongs and I drop it in my sink and we'll get ready to start making the gravy. We're going to turn on our Instant Pot, push the saute button, and ensure that it's on normal temperature. I've added my one can of beef broth, putting in my couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one of my favorite seasonings and gravy. I'm adding some additional garlic powder, giving it a good stir. I'm going to do a taste and see if there's any seasonings that need to be adjusted. I can tell I need some more Italian seasoning, so I go ahead and add that now. Now that my gravy is boiling, it's time to add in the xanthan gum. You want the gravy boiling at this point, and you just want to sprinkle slowly the xanthan gum in. You can see we only had a tiny bit of xanthan gum to add, but we're adding it slowly. If you add too much at one time, it's going to get clumpy and lumpy. You're going to be boiling the gravy for about five or ten minutes till it gets to the thickness that you like. If it doesn't get as thick as you need, go ahead and add just a little bit more xanthan gum. A little bit goes a long way. This is the kind of thickness that I like my gravy, so I'm going to give it one more taste. Ensure that all the spices are correct. And I'm happy with that, so now it's time to go ahead and slice our meat. I wanted to show you how tender this meat is. It was so tender, I had to be so careful not to let the pieces fall apart. It was um, together enough that I was able to make some nice slices, and this is the way I like it. You can see I was trying to slice it as thin as possible. You could use this on a sandwich if you wanted to, um, but we just want to serve it as a roast, slices from a roast. So look at that. Look how tender this is. I was so pleased at how tender this meat came out. Usually pork is not as tender as some like it. Mm, that has a lot of herb flavor. And if you don't like gravy, you can leave it just like this. And if you love gravy, you'll want to put it on like I did here. So there you have it, pork tenderloin in the Instant Pot, a quick easy meal that takes just around 30 minutes. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give my video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to be informed when my next weekly video is available. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.